Hi, I'm Rose Lafferty. Welcome to my third tutorial on how to create a felted seascape. In this tutorial I will be showing you how to finish off the picture with a bit of needle felting. These are the materials I'm going to use. A firm sponge are the walls that I want to use. A felting needle. I'm going to use this one which has got a wooden handle on it. And I'm also going to use this one which has got three needles in one and the mount for the frame that I'm going to use. First I'm going to get my mount, I'm going to place it on the picture to see what, um, which bits I need to actually work on. There's no point in me working on this side when, I, it's not going to, when it's going to be cut off. Okay, so I can see there's a bit of a gap there that I need to put in a bit of the blue wall and the headland here is a, a bit rough so I want to look at doing that. So first thing I'm going to do then is get a bit of the the blue wool that I use for the sky, and I'm going to get my needle, my three needles, and I'm going to just stab it into that. Until it's firm. That's that's all I need to do with it. Maybe I'll just put a little bit there. That's probably not going to be seen. Okay. And I'll cut the ends off afterwards. Then I'm going to look at this headland and also pull that one down. So that's given a much more defined edge now to that. And also now the and make sure that the sea line is straight. I'm just sort of combing it along. I'll just check that. I don't think that's going to be visible. So, so yeah, that's enough. If if I needed to um, place any wool, I could have just put some on top as well. In fact, I'll just do that just to show you what I would do. You can just rework, you know, if you've, if you've spotted any errors or any gaps during the process, you can just needle felt the detail in again. Then I'm just going to just push this down a bit. This is the, because it's the nylon, it's not felted properly, which is fine. I didn't want it to. It just provides a bit more depth, but I'm just going to... Felt it in a bit more in places just so it's fully fully in. And the other thing I want to do is just define the pebbles a bit more. Because there's cotton nibs underneath it, it's a quite difficult to actually work these in, but I just want to just define them a bit more. I'll just do this a little bit more later probably, but for now that's all I want to do with it really. Oh no, sorry, there's just that one as well I noticed. I'm just going to make that a bit more horizontal. Okay, so I just put the mount in position to check that it's right. I've just noticed one bit there I'm going to work on a bit more in a minute. But otherwise I'll just trim, trim that down to size and then frame it and that's, that's all there is to it. Okay, I've noticed that gap, so I'm just going to place a bit of merino wool over it and then literally just stab it in. I don't want it to look like there's too many holes in it, so I'm just trying to make it look as natural as possible. That's all there is to it. 